Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Recently, everyone's been playing the game Pokemon Go, so I thought that I would use it to teach a bit of math since that is my real job. So, um, what we're going to do is look at some of the prices that are in the shop in Pokemon Go and use it to teach a bit of ratio. So you can see here, you can buy 20 Pokeballs for 100 Pokecoins. So let's work out how many poker coins does one Pokeball cost? Okay, so the items that are listed are listed in groups of Pokeballs. So sometimes it's hard for you to compare. So you got 20 Pokeballs, 100 Pokeballs, 200 Pokeballs. That's too many. I just want to know how, ma how many coins does one Pokeball cost? So what we're going to do is we're going to write it as a fraction. So we're going to write it as 100 pokey coins divided by um, 20 pokeballs. All right, so basically we're looking at this part of the information. Okay, this part of the information tells us that 20 Pokeballs cost 100 coins. So if I want to know how many Poke coins is it per Pokeball, then I would go number of Pokeball coins divided by the number of Pokeballs. So let's do 100 divided by 5, in, uh, sorry, 100 divided by 20 in the calculator. So if you type 100 divided by 20, you will get 5. And notice on the right hand side we have poke points divided by pokeballs. So you can write it as poke coins over pokeballs. So it's five poke coins per pokeball. So you can just write it as one pokeball. Five poker coins per pokeball. So you can even write it like this: five poker coins for one pokeball. So therefore, um, how many poker coins does one pokeball cost? Five. It costs five poker coins for a pokeball. But that's if you buy twenty pokeballs at once. If you have a lot of money and you want to buy a um, hundred pokeballs at once then you get a different ratio. So if you buy 100 Pokeballs at once, then it's going to cost you 460 Pokecoins per uh, 100 Pokeballs. Okay, so you're going to type in 460 divided by 100, so it's going to be 4.6 poker coins per pokeball. Okay, so it's going to cost you 4.6 poker coins to buy one pokeball, and that is what we call a ratio, right? A ratio is simply a comparison between one quantity to another. So we're comparing the number of poker coins to the number of pokeballs. And the answer is that the ratio is 4.6 poker coins to one pokeball. Now, you can see that it is a bit cheaper, right? If you buy 20 pokeballs at once, then you're only you're paying 5 poker coins for one pokeball. But if you buy 100 at once, you're paying 4.6 poker coins per pokeball. So what if you buy 200 pokeballs at once? So it's going to be, um, what was the ratio? Uh, 800 coins for 200 pokeballs. So 800 poker coins divided by... Um, 200 pokeballs and then it's going to be 800 divided by 200 is 4 poker coins per pokeball 
So you can see it's going down, right? The more you buy, the less coins you spend on each Pokeball. So you're spending only four Poke coins on one Pokeball. Now, so why is that? Because they want you to buy more, okay? They want people to work out that it's cheaper to buy more Pokeballs. So they want you to buy more, uh, use more coins to spend on the Pokeballs. But I'm not saying that you should do that, okay? Because, well, it's not much difference, 5 to 4.6 to 4. Are you going to use that many Pokeballs? Okay, um, especially when you level up, these Pokeballs become less important because you're going to use the better Pokeball called Great Ball. But anyway, um, so now we got this ratio here. Now let's look at the same thing for Poke Coins, right? We got a hundred poker coins for a dollar forty nine. So actually, I'm just gonna copy and paste this down. So we have a hundred poker coins uh, per for a dollar forty nine. Now, it depends on what the question says that they want to find, but if you want to work out how many coins it would cost, sorry, how many dollars it would cost, actually, let me just say that properly, okay? If you want to work out how many poker coins you can buy for a dollar, then you would write poker coins on the top, dollars on the bottom. So if you want to find out uh, how many poker coins per dollar okay then you then if you want to find that out okay then you would be writing um you'd be writing oops what's going on then you would be writing poker coins on the top and dollar on the bottom but if you want to work out how many um if you want to work out how many dollars it takes to buy one poker coin, then you would put dollar on the top of the fraction and Pokemon a uh, poker coin on the bottom. Depends on what you're trying to find. So let's say we want to find how many poker coins per dollar. So let's put in a hundred poker coins per one dollar forty nine. So put in the calculator a hundred divided by one point four nine. Put that on the calculator and you will get 67.1 poker coins per dollar. Okay, and that's 67.1 poker coins per dollar. So if you spend one dollar, uh, you will get 67.1 poker coins. Uh, obviously, they won't let you do that because you got to spend 1.49 to get 100, but that's what it works out to be. One dollar will buy you 67.1 poker coins. Now, you can also work it out in reverse. So if you have 1.49 one49 dollars, and you want to work out, so you divide it by 100 poker coins. So notice how we have dollars on the top, poker coins on the bottom. So that will give you how many dollars per poker coin. So you're going to type into the calculator 1.49 divided by 100. So let's put that in, 1.49 divide, oh. 1 divided by 100, and we have 0 0.0149. So let's put in here 0 0.0149 uh, dollars per poker coin. So to buy to buy one poker coin you 
you spend about one cent, 1.49 cents to buy one poker coin. So you can think of a poker coin as like similar to 1.5 cents. So when you're buying all this stuff, you can think, okay, 100 poker coins, what's that? Um, I'm sorry. So when you're buying all this stuff, when it says 100 poker coins for 220 poker balls, you can think of it as you're spending, um, what is it? 149 cents, which is $1.49 to buy 20 poker balls. So that's basically what it works out to be. You probably don't need much math for that. So um, let's let's give you guys a more complicated question. So so here's the question: If you buy 550 poker coins at a time, so you're using this part of the information here. You're buying 550 at a time, spending 7.99 dollars. How much money would it cost to buy 200 poker balls? So 200 poker balls. Uh, is that 200? Yes, sorry. 200 poker balls cost 800 poker coins. So, how much money are you spending on buying 200 poker balls? So you would go. Okay, you would go. You would write down 800 poker coins is needed to buy 200 poker balls. 800 poker coins is needed to buy 200 poker balls. And then you would work out, according to this, 550 poker coins is 799. So it costs $7.99 to buy 500 poker coins. And using that, you can find out how many dollars it is for one poker coin. How many dollars per poker coin? So you type in the calculator, 7.99 divided by 500, and you work it out to be 0 0.01598 dollars per poker coin. Hang on, that can't be right. So guys, I think I just accidentally discovered something that it's actually cheaper to buy a hundred poker coins than to buy 550 or 1200. Okay, so that's something that I didn't even know before because if you have a look, if you buy 1.49, if you spend 1.49 dollars on a hundred poker coins, you're only spending uh, 1.49 uh, cents per poker coin, but if you buy 500 poker coins at once, you're spending 1.598 cents per poker coin. So you're spending more money. You're spending more money per poker coin. So that's crazy. So don't do that. Just buy 100 poker coins at a time. Don't buy 550 or 1200 poker coins at a time. So there you go. That's where the math helps you. So 0 0.01598 dollars per poker coin. So we, we need 800 poker coins, right? So we're going to go 0 0.01598 dollars per poker coin times by 800 poker coins. And then I will get $12.78, $12.784 to buy 800 poker coins okay so that's what's needed to buy 800 poker coins which is what's needed uh, or um, 200 poker balls so you're spending twelve dollars seven seventy eight point four cents to get 200 pokeballs okay thanks for watching the lesson on ratio hopefully this was enjoyable to you guys and hopefully my discovery helps you to make 
more informed decisions on how many poke coins you should buy at a time. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.